Today's biomedical research environment is demanding. In this market, Origene stands out as the clone provider of choice for quality biomedical research companies. As part of our commitment to industry-leading products and services, Origin presents this program in the video protocol series. Tissue scan, tissue qPCR arrays. To conduct a tissue scan qPCR array test, begin with an ice bucket in which you have your primers, 2x master mix, sterile water, and a clean, sterile 1.5 mil microfuse tube. We at Origene prepare our primers, our working stocks in pairs, so that we only have to add one aliquot of primer to the tube, and we actually add those to our PCR master mix cocktail first. Next, we're going to add the 2x master mix As you can see, we've actually chosen a colored master mix to make it easier to follow during our protocol. Most PCR mixes are colorless or clear. When preparing the PCR cocktail, we recommend preparing for more samples than you actually have in the plate. We generally prepare a cocktail that's sufficient for 52 samples instead of only 48. This is to ensure that you never run short. The worst thing you can do to introduce error is to have to make a new cocktail for the last four samples. After we mix all the components, we briefly vortex the cocktail to make sure everything is thoroughly mixed. Next, you want to remove the seal from the qPCR plate which contains 2 to 3 nanograms of cDNA only in wells C through F. We've left A, B, G, and H empty. We're going to aliquot 150 microliters of our PCR cocktail into row A, 1 through 12, because we're going to use a multi-channel pipetter to aliquot 30 microliters into each well of rows C, D, E, and F, lanes 1 through 12. And actually, Another trick for saving on your cocktail, if you know that your pipetter tends to leak a little bit, we recommend loading only 29.5 microliters in every well. Another step to ensure you never run short of cocktail and never introduce additional error. Tapping down after you've put cocktail in each one of the wells ensures that there will be no bubbles and that all the solution will be at the bottom of each well, making your pipetting more uniform. We're using a 12-channel pipetter to move 29.5 microliters to each well C1 through 12 through F 1 through 12. We change our tips every time because it's extremely important to avoid cross-contamination during the pipetting step. Even a single molecule can cause contamination and an aberrant result in a PCR reaction. It's now time to seal the plate. Take the optical seal, 
pull it apart and discard the short portion. Lay the seal onto the top of the plate and gently press down to seal every well tightly. Now until the plate is sealed, the film will look opaque. We're using a roller and you can see where it's been rolled. It's clear, indicating a tight seal. That's exactly what you want to have over your entire plate. Any leakage in the seal will lead to evaporation or potential cross-contamination, all of which may introduce error into your experimental results. Once the plate is sealed, remove the tabs or the extra edges from the optical seal. These will interfere with centrifugation and the PCR reaction itself. We do a very brief three second vortex on each end of the plate on a low setting. Setting 10 is not recommended. Next, it's important to spin the samples down so that all of the solution is at the bottom of each well and that there are no bubbles present which could interfere with the PCR amplification. We start the centrifuge and wait until it reaches a thousand RPMs. At that point we let it stop and remove our samples. As you can see, the liquid is now at the bottom of each one of the wells and there are no bubbles present. Put your tissue scan plate back onto ice and let it sit for 15 minutes to allow all the cDNA to come into solution. Open your PCR machine. Put the plate in and press firmly to ensure all of the wells are touching the heat block on the bottom. For our particular machine, we use a thermo pad that goes on top to improve the seal and ensure we have no evaporation. Then it's important to tighten the lid as well, also preventing evaporation. Pull up your specific qPCR program on your computer. Our general protocol may be used as a guide. After the machine stops, pull up your data and process it using whichever method is most appropriate for you. We at Origene hope that this protocol has been helpful.